to or back to my channel so today I'm back with a super exciting video I'm gonna be doing a summer try on clothing haul pretty much all like summer basics I actually just did a whole video talking about my summer essentials like all of the basic pieces you need for summertime so I'll link that here if you guys want to check it out just been picking up a bunch of like summer basics a lot of my denim shorts from last year are just like not really fitting well so I picked up some new ones some of my like basic shoes are just like really worn out and I've been loving some new top styles like basic tops if you watch my video then you'll know what i'm talking about so just lots of good staples to show you guys things that i've kind of picked up over the last month that i've been loving i hope you guys enjoy definitely make sure to thumbs up if you'd like to see some more clothing hauls on my channel make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed turn on the notification bell follow me on instagram at emilygrace.26 comment below some of your favorite places to shop and let's just get into the video i have some things from jerk avenue skims abercrombie nike and one thing from Urban Outfitters. So lots of good things. Really quickly before we get to the haul, I just wanted to show you my phone case because that is also just a really good essential to have for any season. Mine is from Case Defy. I absolutely love Case Defy's phone cases. They are literally the only phone case brand I use because they are truly the best. I actually am partnering with them on this video, so thank you so much to Case Defy for sponsoring. I feel like with every season change, I like to pick up a new phone case just to kind of like match the vibe and the colors of the season. I just love Case Defy because they have so many cute like colors and prints. They're protective. I'll show you some of my favorite phone cases and prints right now from Case Defy for the summertime and also tell you why they are the best. Case Defy's new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. They're also compatible with 5G and wireless charging. Case Defy's cases are also 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. They also feature an antimicrobial coating that helps keep your case germ-free, killing up to 99% of bacteria. Their Cheetech 2.0 technology is drop test approved for drops up to 9.8 feet. They feature a lifted camera ring and a raised front bezel for all angle protection. As you can see, they come in tons of design and print options. So you can pick your favorite color or print and really match your phone to your personality and mood and style. You can also add your name or monogram for a truly customized case. I'm gonna test out the military grade drop protection so you can see how Case 5 protects your phone. As you can see, my camera, the screen, everything is still fine after dropping my phone. So the case by cases really do protect your phone when you drop it. I drop my phone so many times in a day, usually like on concrete, like getting out of my car and case by always protects it. Case by cases are great gifts for friends and family. My family loves them. My dad was literally saying that he would love one for Father's Day. I feel like everybody loves them. Like who does not want a cute case? If you guys want to check out case by, I do have a discount. So you can go to casefy.com slash Emily Grace to save 15% off on your order that is casefy.com slash only grace to save 15 percent off i'm gonna have that links below at the very top of my description so you can just click that link so now on to the clothing haul starting off with jerk avenue i am literally obsessed i just placed a new order like somebody needs to stop me i like follow their instagram i would like see their tiktoks and i was like okay their stuff is so cute like i'm just gonna order and like see what the hype is about thinking that would like be the end of it i was just curious like what their products were you know and now i'm obsessed so i just want to warn you if you place an order with Drew avenue you might become obsessed i am obsessed with it anyway so i ordered a couple things from jerk this is my second order now i did place another order yesterday because they did just drop a whole new line of the breezy which is what i'm wearing the what i'm about to show you a whole bunch of new colors and i was literally thinking i wish they had more colors and then boom a whole drop of new colors so You'll be seeing that in a future haul. Sorry, that was that was a whole long thing. The first item are these shorts, which I wore yesterday, so I feel like they're a little bit like wrinkled. So they're these breezy shorts. I'm literally obsessed. When I first like unboxed them, I thought I was gonna return them. Like I was like, oh, these do not fit good. They're not flattering on me. If you order these, you might not like them at first. Then I realized you're supposed to actually like fold them down like this. Otherwise, they're gonna be like too high-waisted. Anyways, I really love these though. I always like love these type of shorts, but I can never find any that truly fit good. Like usually they're just like really thin and almost see-through or they're way too short. I feel like these are genuinely so perfect. I do really, really love these. I would normally not spend that much on these types of shorts. They match the button-up that I currently have on right now. I don't really have any matching sets. I'm also gonna be going on a trip 
to France. I've said this in like every single video I filmed recently, but I'm excited. I'm visiting my friend Josephine and we're gonna be going to Corsica. I'm gonna be like visiting her and her family and Corsica is kind of like the Hawaii of Europe is kind of how she described it to me. I don't really like how I look in bikinis. I thought these would be really cute to kind of throw over a bikini for like an Instagram picture or even just like with the little matching set. I thought it'd be really cute. Beach, France vibes and I just thought it'd be really cute for my trip. Otherwise, if I wasn't going on this trip, I probably wouldn't have bought these, but I just thought it'd be so perfect for my trip and so cute for pictures. I love these so much that I did just buy them in more colors because I'm crazy. That was like really long, but I just had a lot to say about those shorts. I'm really, really obsessed with them. <laughs> Next up from Jerf Avenue, I got this blazer. So I would just like to say the details of all of the Jerf Avenue items insane there's like little tags inside that say you're an angel which i just love the actual tags like inside the clothes this one's actually a bit different the tags inside are like really soft not like the itchy tags of like most clothing pieces so that is just a detail that i really really love i really really love this this was also pretty expensive i feel like i just haven't been able to find a blazer that i truly just love the fit of and the color and everything so i just thought this would be worth the splurge it's not really a summer item but it's just always out of stock and i've been like eyeing this for so long this is actually what drew me to the jerk avenue website in the first place do you really love the color of this and the quality is just really amazing it fits really good it does have shoulder pads in it i got a small and it's like perfectly oversized next up is a shoe purchase this is definitely like really basic it's not anything super exciting i just repurchased some nike air force ones i mentioned in a recent video that my literally had a hole in them like it had like a hole kind of like through the sole everything was just like very very worn out so i just repurchased them i was deciding if i should get another pair of these or if i should get these new balance 550s i feel like these are more kind of like new and trendy and kind of like up and coming but i ended up going with these just because i feel like these are just like so basic they just kind of like go with everything i like how simple these are i feel like the new balance 550s just have more of like a sporty look and all my sneakers are very like sporty and chunky and i feel like these are just nice and simplistic they look good if you want to wear them with like a skirt or a dress or even just like something like this that maybe looks a bit nicer like if i was going out to like a nice lunch or something and i wanted to wear sneakers i don't know if that makes sense i feel like these are more versatile in the sense that they are so simple these don't necessarily dress down your outfit because they're not overly sporty or chunky they're just plain sneakers so i feel like they are just a really good essential to have right now i don't necessarily have them because mine are just so they're not really even wearable because they're so worn out um so i just thought i would pick these up because i just like keep reaching for these next up skims i got a few t-shirts from skims i actually already showed these in a vlog but i thought i would do a proper try on here in this haul i also did like a mini try on on tiktok and instagram reels so if you're not following me in there definitely do i am obsessed with these so i actually got three different colors if you can see that of the same t-shirt so this is the cotton jersey t-shirt i got these probably over a month ago but i've been wearing them so much i feel like i've been wearing them like every single day they're like the most comfortable thing ever i didn't really mean to buy all three of these so i kind of was just gonna buy this one like the bone colored one i feel like that's like kind of like the most popular i feel like bone is kind of like the signature skims color but then i was like okay well the gray would be a good staple but then I was like, I don't ever really wear a cream colored t-shirt. Like I always go for white and there's this marble one, which is like a white. It's actually kind of still like a cream. This is like a temporary, like a limited edition color for spring and summer. So I was like, mm, if I really like this t-shirt, I might wish I would have got it in white. So I added all three of these to my cart and I was like, well, I'll just see how I like them and like which one I like the best in person and I'll ship whichever one I don't like back. Then I ended up really liking them. I ended up liking all three colors, so I just kept all of them. These shirts are just really soft and stretchy. On my TikTok, I got a lot of questions if these are true to size, and I got a size small. Typically, size small, medium, depending on the brand. I would say they're true to size. I can put some of my sizing information in the description if you're curious. I think a medium would be like too loose, and you definitely want these to be kind of tight. That's kind of like the look. I would definitely get another color. Like I literally love them that much. They kind of have a, like worn in 
like shrunken t-shirt feel. Next up, I got a bunch of denim shorts from Abercrombie. I just ordered some online. I just wanted some good fitting shorts for the summertime. And two of these I have already worn quite a bit and I'm like already really obsessed with. I just thought I would show you guys these. I love Abercrombie's denim, such high quality, just like very, like a really, really nice material. I mostly ordered the dad short style because a few weeks ago I picked up these. I was ordering some stuff for my sister's birthday and I just added these to my order and I really, really love them. Like I was like, these are my favorite shorts ever. So then I ordered a few more because I was like, I need some more shorts. So these are the dad shorts. These are like the seven inch high rise and these are the curve love ones. And I personally can't really tell a difference between the curve love and the ones that aren't the curve love. I really, really love these. They're like really long, like a long like boyfriend style. I just think they look really cute with like an oversized t-shirt. I love the wash of them. I just think these are so cute. I've been wearing them so much recently. I think these are sold out, but I think the like not curve love ones are still in stock. I was like wanting some that are maybe like a little bit less long, but still kind of the same style. So I ordered these and I am literally obsessed with these. I think these are my favorite shorts right now. They are pretty much like the same style, just a little bit darker and they have a raw hem at the bottom. So they seem to be a little bit less long. I don't think these are curve love. They're just the seven inch dad short high rise. So it's pretty much the same thing. And I just, I love these. I've been wearing them so much and I just think they're really flattering, really cute. I just love like the longer kind of boyfriend style. I just think they look really relaxed and cute. I also ordered these cream ones because I don't really have any like white or cream shorts. I think these are so cute. They are the dad short high rise. So they're not like the seven inch. So they're not quite as long. They're a little bit more of like a mid thigh. I just don't really like the super short shorts. I wear them all the time when I was like in middle school. So I just like the longer shorts. I think they're just more flattering. I think they're cuter. Um, and I also feel like this style is more in style, like the boyfriend type, like relaxed shorts. I feel like these are definitely trendier right now. I really love these. I think these would be cute with like a black t-shirt or I don't know, even like with what I'm wearing. I think these would be really cute. Coastal grandma vibe. These are the two that I'm not really sure about. So definitely let me know what you guys think because I can't decide. I definitely don't need to keep all of these. So I have these, they're kind of like the crisscross, like asymmetrical style. And they're also kind of like a mid wash, a little bit longer, but not super long high-waisted and I just love the material of Abercrombie shorts I think that the style is just really flattering I have a couple pairs of jeans like this and I wear them all the time so I really love the idea of having shorts with this like crisscross style okay and then lastly for the shorts I have these I just thought it might be nice to have a darker wash like with certain outfits I do feel like I typically lean for more of like a medium or light wash so I might return these. Let me know what you guys think. These are pretty much the same style as all the ones that I showed before. Like they're the same as the white ones. I feel like the darker wash is not really as trendy or stylish as like the medium and light wash, but with certain things, sometimes it just like looks good. And the last item of the haul is this sweatshirt. This is from Urban Outfitters. I just thought this was so cute. I've been seeing it everywhere on like my Instagram feed and Pinterest, and I just thought it was so cute. I don't have anything this bright orange color, so I just thought it'd be really fun. I love Urban Outfitters sweatshirts. I have the Nirvana one and I wear it all the time. It's just so comfy and like really flowy and it's definitely like really summery like with the graphic. That is actually everything for this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely give it a big thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.26. Comment below which item was your favorite and some of your favorite places to shop, some summer trends that you're loving. Definitely make sure to check out Casefy. Go to casefy.com slash emilygrace for 15% off your order. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment this emoji if you stayed until this point. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in a couple days for my next one. Bye.